Hello, hello, good morning, good afternoon, good night, wherever you are, welcome to my channel. It's definitely been a minute. <laughs> the last video I posted was definitely going through something. I had like a bad, bad incident that happened and I needed a minute. My mental health was definitely disturbed from that incident and so I took a break, went back to therapy. I always go into therapy like occasionally just to check in but this was like I needed to get back in like regularly so I've been working very 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 hard and I finally feel like a lot better and a lot stronger and I feel like I'm back on my feet definitely had a little bit of a setback but by the title of the vlog you guys know that I'm moving I've been talking about it a little bit on Instagram but I thought I'd go a little bit more in depth on here I moved into this apartment after my big public breakup you guys saw uh, three years ago definitely was the scariest thing I have ever done in my entire life I had never lived on my own I had never been in Independent ever in my life. I was a very dependent person. I just didn't know how to do it on my own And so I moved in here. I was so scared. I was so empty. I was so Confused. I was so sad. So depressed. So lonely. I literally was the emptiest lowest version of myself ever in my entire life. I have grown so much. I'm a very independent person now. I know how to take care of myself. I know how to just do the damn thing on my own and I'm so proud of myself and I'm so strong now. And um, I've definitely come a long, long way because this apartment means so much to me because I went from the absolute lowest point of my life to where I am now, where I'm strong. I'm not perfect, I still have my down moments, but I've grown so much to where I feel valuable and worthy and I feel like much more of a whole person. <laughs> I still have a lot to learn and grow, but I'm a lot happier and I know that I'm able and capable to do things on my own. And I survived out of a very dark time in my past. So when my lease renewal was coming up, it was a little scary because I haven't made like a big, big decision like this on my own ever. So I was going through a lot of doubts. I was doubting myself. I have some trouble trusting myself sometimes. I decided to move and I'm still scared <laughs> but um, I looked at 11 different complexes so my brain was like melted but I finally found an apartment that I had liked I put a hold on it because it wasn't available until a few days ago so I went and looked at it with my mom and it was perfect it's cute it's girly it's a good vibe lots of fresh air good light and it's way cheaper than the one I'm in now because they're raising my rent here and I was like the big question is is it worth it to stay here or do I want a fresh start I've had so many good memories here but I've also had a lot of bad memories here like I went through some deep dark shit I kind of want to just start fresh starting from Fresh and paying less money it sounds like a beautiful idea to me <laughs> having my mom look at the apartment with me and she was like you know it's a good vibe here and I was like I agree today is March 20th and I move on March 30th I'm really scared but I'm excited it's time for something new I've just been packing my ass off <laughs> thank you for being on this journey with me you guys mean so much to me you've seen me go through it all so <laughs> excited to decorate my new apartment I don't know how I'm gonna do it yet um it's a little bit different of a floor plan than this and it's a little bit smaller but I think that's okay I have a loft upstairs but I literally never use it I never go up there unless I go do my makeup so I was like I could easily put my makeup desk in my room I don't know I'm a little stressed out on how I'm gonna decorate it but that's the fun of it it's like a project but I'll touch base in a few days when I pack up more of my stuff because that's all I'm doing the next few days my lips are so chapped <laughs> it's moving day well not really um, I got my keys this morning my dad came with me um, and we just kind of checked out the apartment and made sure you know everything was good to go the movers are coming tomorrow morning but I don't know what's wrong with me um you know one of the first uh, steps in being a strong independent woman is admitting when you need help um I had told the movers that like I would take care of all my clothes like I'm good and then yesterday I realized that I need some help so <laughs> I emailed them yesterday and I was like um I may need some wardrobe boxes <laughs> Yeah, there's just a lot, like moving is so much work for one person, like there's just no way that I can do it all on my own. Um, so 
I had to ask for help. My dad was helping me a little bit this morning and then I'm gonna start doing some trips right now just to get some stuff over, like empty my fridge, all that great stuff. But luckily I'm literally so close, like it's not a far move, so I'm thankful for that. But I'm excited, I love my apartment. It's so cute and girly and it's cozy. It's smaller than this one, but I kind of love it because I don't know, when you're by yourself, like you don't need like some giant thing. So I think I will be very happy there. I'm so excited to like start decorating and just like, you know, have a fresh start. So <laughs> it's so chaotic. Let me show you guys like, I've done so much to pack and then I'm looking around and I'm like, what have you done, Carissa? <laughs> Okay, so I'm gonna start like loading all of these into my car. This is literally like two things and it takes up both of my cars. Everything's everywhere. It's a disaster. I don't really know what I'm doing. <laughs> like I have boxes full of stuff, like great organization. <laughs> I've taken off all of the stuff off of my walls, like all my books, everything. I need to take that down later, but my dad brought over the step stool and it was pouring rain, so he covered it. I did my bathroom pretty much like empty. I've had stuff all over the walls and everything all that is taken out this is my problem area <laughs> I have not emptied any of my drawers. I have both of these clothing racks um, and I have not done my closet. <laughs> like, what is wrong with me? I don't know, I just don't know. So I was like, I need some help and like, you know, it is what it is. <laughs> um, All of my shoes. Mom is so good, huh? <laughs> I've literally just been non-stop for the past week. Like, I've been getting up so early. Yesterday I went to Palm Springs and then to the beach and it's just like, everything's happening <laughs> all at once and then it leads to this and I knew I was gonna get myself to this point where I was gonna be like oh my god I have so much to do and I don't have any time and I was trying to pace myself so I wouldn't have this issue but I think in the back of my head I knew that was gonna happen so I've just kind of like accepted that and uh, you know I'm used to myself doing that let me show you guys upstairs stay there babe he likes to follow me up the stairs but he's so careful when he comes up here <laughs> So this was totally full. I had a giant cabinet there. I emptied out all of that. This mirror is going to be the mover's biggest task. <laughs> it's so heavy. Um, I need to take off all the light bulbs. Oh, you stinker, you came up the stairs. <laughs> Ooh, hello. I think this is every girl's vanity. Um, if not, then this is me. <laughs> this is the real me. It's pretty much packed. I also have to take that down, which should be fun. I was trying to patch my walls. I had a neon sign right there, and then I need to take that off the wall. So, you know, it should be fun. The thing that, like, my brain couldn't comprehend is, like, what do I pack when I'm still living here, you know? So I was like, okay, just pack a little suitcase with like the necessities and then get everything just over to the new place so that's what I'm gonna do so I'm gonna start loading my car and then uh, yeah I'll touch base uh, hopefully I have not lost my mind but I do have a feeling that that is coming um, so <laughs> beware <laughs> I don't know how to get it out of the wall. No screws the Hot Mess Express is present, so like my makeup is smudging everywhere, but like, you know, this is a judge-free channel. <laughs> you know, no one looks good when they're moving, okay? <laughs> so I have these like giant holes up there from the clothing rack that I had. I'm like patching all of the little holes in my wall, but I've never patched a hole that big. My whole finger can fit into the hole. So I called my dad and I was like, what the heck do I do? Cause I'm trying not to get charged because I know like when you move out of places, like the apartment will, you know, try and milk you for as much money as they can. So I want as much of my security deposit back as possible. Um, I know that I can't just like patch it without anything there because there's literally just a giant hole. So I'm taking printer paper and I take a little bit and I scrunch it up and I put it in the hole and then I patch over it and it's literally like I just created a freaking wall. It's incredible. <laughs> I'm like so proud of myself. I'll show you what I mean, but 
I have this stuff all over and it's drying. We love that. Get a little bit of the paper and we're gonna shove this part into the hole up there. I feel like my finger can literally fit in the hole, so I need to stuff it with something just like that. And then I'm gonna do that to that hole as well. And then I'll just patch over it. Then it'll look like that. It's still drying. And then you just sand it and it'll just be super smooth. And then they can just paint over it. Just like this one, there was a hole right here and now it's super smooth and they just have to touch up the paint. It's literally like magic. <laughs> I'm like so dead. <laughs> okay, so everything up here is pretty much taken care of except for my makeup. I'm just waiting for those holes to dry so I could sand them, but I sanded everything else. And then the movers will just take care of all this. So upstairs is pretty much done. All right, <laughs> I've given up. This is just turning into an absolute disaster. I am emptying out all of my cabinets. Like everything's emptied. He is so confused, I feel so bad. We're moving, baby, we're moving. Yeah, this is what my apartment looks like right now. Um, I opened my door because I was like taking stuff out and someone walked by and they saw and I just, you know, they judged me hardcore. It's dark out now and I'm waiting for my sister and Danielle. They're gonna come over and help me because I am so overwhelmed it's not even funny. All right guys, we bought way more boxes. <laughs> Michaela's over here. We're gonna take our like all the fridge stuff over. Um, took up all of that. Danielle came and saved the day. <laughs> we have so many boxes. We had to go to Lowe's and then we borrowed some boxes, but everything is like out. Movers are going to take all of these and put them in like wardrobe boxes. All the shoes are done. It's coming together. Good morning. I woke up at like 6 a.m. All the bedding is packed. I taped up all the boxes. <laughs> but guess what? It is pouring rain. Like fully just pouring. My hair is so dirty, so I just did like a super slick back pony and drenched it in hairspray so that it stays out of my face all day. The only bummer is, is I completely messed up my back yesterday. Like I'm in so much pain, like borderline in tears. My lower back, I'm just like in so much pain, so. That's annoying, but um, thank God I have movers. Uh, I'm gonna be using Roadway Moving. I've seen tons of people use them, and so I messaged them, and they're so freaking nice. It was a rainbow this morning, so that was a good sign, but now it's pouring, so hopefully it kind of clears up and uh, my back can chill out. And then Danielle's gonna be here in about 10 minutes. Michaela is right there. She's not happy to be up this early. Um, and Danielle's bringing bagels, so she's an angel. And then the movers are gonna be here in one hour, so. The bagels have arrived. Oh my goodness. Okay, the movers just got here. They're going down to get all the materials. I was showing them everything and I was like, <laughs> I have a lot of stuff. <laughs> but there's three guys. They look nice and strong. They're ready to work and they're so nice. So I'm excited. It's good vibes, good energy. So <gasps> time to say goodbye and move on to a fresh start. You were not happy with all the men coming in. <sighs> the strangers. They took those boxes so fast, McKenna and I were like, damn. <laughs> damn. Damn. Each of them took three boxes, so that's nine boxes gone literally within maybe 12 seconds. That was fantastic. I love this. I feel like a runway model. <laughs> We've made our way to the bathroom. Mikhail's watching Kardashians. <laughs> How you doing? The movers just left and they're gonna go get some lunch. So I thought I'd show you guys. This is honestly so weird for me. Cause this is exactly, I mean obviously, this is exactly how it looked like when I first moved in. Honestly, it gives me kind of like a bad vibe because I just was so like sad and down and depressed when I moved in here. Like literally the lowest point of my entire life. So it's very strange to see like it not filled out. It's just like so strange for me, but I've had a lot of growth here. Um, so I'm forever thankful for this apartment. We'll go upstairs. This is just crazy. It's just so weird. I'm gonna miss these giant windows up here for sure and just having like the extra space, but I'm excited to have like a cozy spot. Like literally for the longest time, I only had a dog bed right here because I had no furniture. So I would sit on a dog bed down there and watch TV with Max and it was so just like strange and bizarre because it was so out of my comfort zone. So it's crazy to see how far I've come and like how much I've grown and become like my own independent person. It's like a weird like bittersweet moment for me to move out of here, but. 
definitely excited to get out and say goodbye to this place. <laughs> it's so dark in here. <laughs> I'm on my way to the apartment, but I need coffee. So I'm gonna stop at Starbucks and get a coffee and like a muffin or something because I'm starving, but I don't want to take forever because I need to get there in time. I literally got out of my car and was halfway across the parking lot to Starbucks and then they texted me and they're like, we're here. And I was like, how? How did you eat and get there before me? So no coffee and no food for me. So. Oh well. Okay, so I just got to my apartment. I showed the movers like the map and everything and we did a little walkthrough and so they're gonna start moving stuff in. It's gonna be a big task. <laughs> I feel so bad. Um, so shout out to Roadway Moving. Thank you so much. Okay, so obviously I'll give you guys a tour when everything is like, you know, put together and we will vlog that whole process because it's a disaster right now. <laughs> this part makes me laugh because I genuinely don't drink that much and it looks like I'm... <laughs> like a raging alcoholic i get gifted a lot of like wine and stuff so there's just like a ton of it first of all i love these floors because max's hair will blend right in <laughs> um i just have so many ideas um i think the living room will be set up kind of like the same i'm gonna get rid of like these little blinds and i'm gonna get some cute curtains i love that there's greenery it makes me so happy lots of fresh air i think i'm gonna put like a floor length mirror right here and then here is my bedroom i have some ideas of how i'm gonna put it together but like I think that's gonna change once things start getting in here and then here is the closet we got a nice little walk-in closet here the bathroom is like ridiculously large <laughs> Like, I don't understand why it's this big. But again, super girly. We have these cute little built-in shelves, which are so nice. Um, I put my plant there last night, but we got a nice little tub. I love the white tile. I just think this apartment's, like, really girly. Like, I love how cozy and girly it is. So I'm excited to decorate it and just, you know, make it my own and make it very Carissa. Last night, I had a feeling, just in case, I wasn't going to be able to have time to go get food. I brought over a bunch of trail mix, so I just ate some trail mix and then I have my Alani energy drink so I've been just drinking that and I'm pretty good I hope they're not allergic to peanuts but you know if anyone starts getting itchy hopefully they'll let me know <laughs> cheers to a fresh start <laughs> I'm trying to be quiet because it's very echoey in here because there's no furniture and my door is wide open all right we got the nightstand in I'm gonna put one of the clothing racks there I don't know where I'm gonna put that yet I wish like there was that amount of space behind that door because then it could just go right there so that's gonna be a thinker <laughs> so tired <laughs> the movers just left that was a full day they worked their asses off so they slayed highly highly recommend roadway moving like literally 10 out of 10 experience it was great so easy so nice they took care of all my stuff put it exactly where i wanted it and they were so chill about it now is the like fun but like exhausting and difficult part where i have to like figure out where i'm gonna put everything everything's just you know everywhere i noticed there was like a piece of my like tv stand this was on the counter so i just kind of like put that in and then now i have to lift my tv up on there and it's gonna be hard i tried taking it down and it was so heavy so both of those mirrors are not staying there i just told them to put them there and i just didn't know where to put them problem is i don't know if i'm gonna lift this this thing is so big i need to remember to like lift with my legs <laughs> not my back okay oh my god it's so heavy one two three Okay, okay. Oh, <gasps> So boxes everywhere. I have so much work to do. I need to like figure out where I'm gonna hang everything. I have to put like the light bulbs in my mirror. I'm gonna set up a cute little bar cart station over there. I have to figure out my patio furniture. There's just stuff everywhere, but it's cute in here. It's cozy. Here is my bedroom. Like they hung up on my clothes, which was so nice. This is gonna be my little makeup section. And then I have my dresser right here and I don't know. I have lots to do. <laughs> I have the birds chirping, the windows are open, fresh breeze. The area that I was in was like in a very like businessy area. So there wasn't like that many like trees and it wasn't very like neighborhoody. This was only literally like less than 10 minutes away from that spot, but it's way cheaper and in a way better area. I literally have like trees and birds and it's like so calming and I feel so at peace here i feel happy and i feel like light and i'm ready 
for this uh, fresh start. Um, I'm ready to decorate this and just make it the cutest, girliest apartment with good vibes, fresh, clean slate. There is no negative energy here. I'm really happy and I'm so excited that you guys are on this journey with me. I'm so thankful for all of you. If you have any ideas of how I should decorate, <laughs> let me know. But I love decorating. I love putting spaces together. It's like very um, therapeutic for me and it's always been like a hobby of mine. So I am freaking starving. All I had today was that bagel. That's it. Literally, I had some trail mix, um, but I am going to go get a sandwich because the sandwich sounds bomb. So I will touch base with you guys later. Okay, it's like two days later. It's a very gloomy morning right now. So yesterday, my family came over and helped me go through a lot of like my kitchen boxes. So that was super helpful. So I got a lot of my kitchen stuff put away, um, but I'm still, you know, figuring out where I'm going to like put everything because the layout is like different from my other apartment and I lost like a whole loft space so um, I got rid of a lot of stuff I sold a lot of stuff and then I moved some of my stuff to my parents house like in my room there but everything is like coming together slowly and I'm starting to like get a vision so it's exciting but last night I went through all of my like closet boxes which took me so long <laughs> so I have a ton of boxes that I need to like break down right now um, just get them out of the way because it's so much clutter it's like like making me anxious um so i'm gonna tackle that right now but one of the tricks that i learned um, if you are moving and you need boxes go on facebook marketplace and see if anyone has just moved and you can take their boxes i took someone's boxes from just a mutual friend that i knew that had just moved so i took a bunch of their boxes i bought a few of my own boxes from home depot and lowe's but um i also heard that you can even go to like tj maxx or something and ask if they have any boxes from their like their stock room so there's like ways to get boxes for free just in case you know you wanted a little tip if you're moving there are ways to get boxes i'm gonna break them down right now and i'm gonna put them in the recycle room in case anyone wants to take them I just took down so many boxes right now. I'm so proud of myself. Oh, I'm a little out of breath. <laughs> so I think I'm gonna end this vlog here. So the rest of today, I'm gonna start hanging stuff and decorating and like showing how I'm gonna put the apartment together. Um, so I wanted to make that like a separate vlog. So um, come back on Wednesday and I will show you guys like, you know, how I'm putting everything together. Thank you for watching and being a part of this journey with me. Turn on post notifications so you can see my next video and how I decorate my apartment. And then I'll do like a full tour and you know, we'll get back to the regular vlogs. So I'm excited. I hope you guys have an amazing day and I will see you guys in the next video.